Today on the show, we're taking a look at Superman, The Man of Steel, number 20, from February of 1993. This is Funeral for a Friend, number 3. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright guys, as I said, this is Superman, The Man of Steel, number 20, from February of 1993. Funeral for a Friend, number 3. Um... I just finished reading this issue. I never actually read it before. And I have to say, the end of this issue is very emotional. It actually brought a tear to my eye. I'm not ashamed to say. It was written by Louis Simonson with art by John Bogdanov. I guess you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Uh, the first page or two of this issue kind of had me a little bit worried because the art was slightly different. Uh, is more exaggerated, kind of like how the early issues of Steel were, just very overpronounced, I guess you could say, in that more cartoony style, I guess. I don't know, it, it's very hard to describe. I don't care for that style. But luckily, late as the issue progresses, it gets back to the normal Death of Superman style. And as you can see here, this in this issue, this is where they bury Superman in the crypt. Uh, on the front cover here, you've got Batman and Robin lurking off in the distance, watching over everything. Uh, you got Mr. Miracle, Guardian, Bibbo, Green Lantern, Flash, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Shazam... Or at this point in time, Captain Marvel, uh, Aquaman, Nightwing, and I believe that's Fire right there. And as you can see, this was at a time when the Comics Code Authority was still in use. I don't believe they're really in use anymore. I, I never see comics anymore with the Comic Code Authority on it. Um, see, this is what I mean by over-exaggerated. Uh, very cartoonish-like style here. I don't really care for that. Uh, Lex Luthor is making the arrangements for Superman's funeral. But as you can see, they start to get back to normal. Um, this, you know, uh, Lex says, Try as I might, I couldn't kill Superman. But sure as hell, I'm going to bury him. Uh, so that sets the tone for why Lex is doing everything he's doing. Uh, for Superman, I guess you could say. Then we've got, we join Jonathan, Martha, Kent, who aren't able to be at their son, own son's funeral. Uh, they kept a secret identity even in death. That's how they, that's how he was able to come back and, you know, be Clark Kent again. And then Jimmy Olsen has taken everything pretty bad. Uh, one of the uh, reporters, his name's Dan, I'm not sure. But he's kind of... He's more of a... He wants Jimmy to take the glory of such an iconic picture. And he's not understanding why Lois is so upset. Even though Clark is missing. Missing, sorry. Uh, Perry's been invited to the funeral. Uh, Lois wasn't. Uh, but he offers to let her go in his place, but she says no. Um, Lois goes up to the uh, roof uh, out of habit in mourning, I guess. That's where Superman often met with her. And it shows here that they've placed a uh, plaque at the site where he fell. And Jimmy comes and takes her to the funeral procession right there try to get through and as you can see the entire justice league is marching with the casket uh we've got booster gold right here uh who's not really in his uniform since it got shredded but he's still in the mask and like what looks like a jacket or whatever 
Uh, we got Ice and Bloodwind. Uh, I'm not sure who that is in the crease, but we've got Elongated Man, Guardian. Uh, Wildcat, Power Girl, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Fire, Black Canary, Wonder Woman, Flash, Aquaman, Captain Marvel, uh, Alan Scott, Guy Gardner, Jake Garrick, Obsidian back here. Um, I think that other that one next to Kilowog is one of the Blackhawks. Uh, but as I said, Kilowog, uh, right there we've got Nightwing. Um, I can't remember who that is. Maxima. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Dr. Light, the female Dr. Light. Uh, Dr. Fate. Uh, I think that's Orion. Uh, I can't remember his name for the life of me. Uh, and then, you know, so on and so forth. We don't see Batman and Robin here. They've kept to the shadows. Uh, at this point, you know, for those of you who've looked to see who's all in the funeral procession, uh, which I see the metal men there, uh, Big Barda, Mr. Miracle, so on. You don't see Batman and Robin in there, but you see Nightwing. You have to remember, Night Superman gave Nightwing his name. Uh... Dick Grayson knew Superman since he was a little kid. Uh, always working alongside Batman. He knew Superman as well as Batman did. We see all the people in Metropolis uh, grieving over Superman's loss. And here's a family he saved from a fire. Uh, one lady says they say Superman was an alien. Uh funny isn't it since he was also earth's greatest hero a guy who got pulled out of a wreck Lois Lane and Jimmy uh, here's all the issues that uh, funeral for a friend takes place in Justice League America number 70 Adventures of Superman 498 Action Comics 685 Superman the Man of Steel number 20 Superman 76 Adventures of Superman 499, Action Comics 686, Man of Steel 21, and Superman number 77. And that's not including the official tie-ins as well, like uh, Justice League. Oh, actually, yeah. It is there. I'm sorry. Uh, and I think Superman number 77 was the epilogue. But we'll go over that in the future. Then we join uh, Lobo, who's... He is flipping out because he just heard that Superman is dead and he didn't have a chance to uh, he didn't have a chance to get a piece of him um, more mourners and then we see uh, liberation force terrorist you know, he's about ready to set off a bomb in order to kill one of his nation's leaders who's there. Uh, but Batman uh, sights him. This is our first first sighting of Batman in this issue. Uh, he's not down with the rest of the Justice League. He's watching over everything. Uh, doing things Superman's way. Uh, he noticed the bomb in the guy's jacket. Um, and the guy says... Uh, no, don't drop me. I'll turn myself in. Anything, just don't drop me. Batman, don't tempt me. But Metropolis is Superman's town. And for today, I'll play it his way. <laughs> he just leaves him hanging there with a sign that says, please arrest me. <laughs> uh, then we come to Dr. Emil Hamilton. Uh, the Underworlders. Bibbo. And some guy who... Superman saved from a burning building at one time, selling uh, Death of Superman t-shirts and a uh, a bag that includes the newspaper and the armband all together. 
And he's selling them because, you know, Superman s- did save him and his family from the fire, but now they're homeless. And he's still got to feed his family. Bibbo's about ready to just pound this guy until he finds out and he says, All right, Superman was my pal, so we'll do things his way. I'll buy all of the merchandise. $300 worth of merchandise. And come see me later. I'll give you a job. Um, There we see the pallbearers of the Justice League. Those who fought alongside Superman during Doomsday's uh, arrival. Uh, Ice, Bloodwind, um, Booster Gold there in street clothes, but still wearing his, you know, uh, visor and stuff. Uh, Guy Gardner, Maxima, and Supergirl all uh, carrying his casket. And then we've got some thugs who are trying to get Jimmy to sell them the rights, the licensing rights to his photo. And uh, they're they're about ready to do some bad stuff until Robin comes in. And, and then the crowd just starts getting crazy and the Justice League have to take action. And Jonathan and Martha are just overwhelmed. They're not able to be there at his at their son's funeral and they're just devastated by what the people are doing at that time. It's turned into a mob scene. And all the while, Lois keeps wanting to call them, but she's afraid that they'll blame her. Uh, And then we've got President president at the time, Bill Clinton and (coughs) Hillary Clinton. Um... (laughs) Uh, making the speech, uh, Lois, she she finally tries to call Jonathan and Martha, but they decide to uh, more grieve for him in their own way by burying a box of his stuff through the years in the crater where they found him originally. Uh, scrapbook, his teddy bear, his blankie, his baseball glove. Or his baseball mitt and baseball. Wonder Woman and Green Lantern. uh, Seal the tomb. Everyone's looking on. And here's the emotional part. Lois finally manages to get through to Ma and Pa Kent. And this is where I kind of start to tear up a little bit. Uh, If you have a chance, read it. Uh... Louis Simonson really has a way of making you feel this moment with the dialogue. Um, Mom and Pa Kent don't blame Lois at all. Uh, She's just heartbroken. Um, I was there all the time Clark fought Doomsday. And all I could do was report on the fight and watch him die. I couldn't do anything but watch him die. Listen to me, Lois. It's not your fault. You did all you could. Everyone did everything they could. We're coming, sweetie. Hold on a little while. We'll be right there. So, that, that even now it kind of makes me choke up a little bit. Uh, very, very heartwarming, very very sad uh, final page. Uh, It really... Ah, shit. (laughs) Just rereading that panel, it kind of brought a tear to my eye, guys. But I really suggest picking up... uh, Superman, the Man of Steel, number 20. Funeral for a Friend, number 3. If you have a chance, uh, at the time of this filming, Comixology has the entire Funeral for a Friend uh, graphic novel in their digital copies for $5.99. 
Uh, I picked mine up last night, along with the death of Superman, along with the reign of the Superman and return of the Superman. Or return of Superman, I'm sorry. Um, and as I said previously, I will be doing a retelling with images from the stories uh, in my off-season, probably around December sometime. We'll start with the death of Superman. We'll go into Funeral for a Friend, Reign of the Superman, and The Return of Superman. Uh, I'm hoping to make it a four-part video series, but we'll see. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends. Thank you.